that was closer, but still not quite it. But what difference does it make if I hit this note, or this note, or that note? They're all the same. All the same, are they? Then tell me why this sounds like the rumble of thunder and lightning. And yet this... It sounds like the rain. But why? For the same reason that this sounds like... A bird! It sounds like a little bird, Papa! He was a bird and a friend. A very special friend of my youth. Back when I had no time for the piano either. You, Papa? <laughs> yes, but one note taught me a very important lesson. About life and about music. A bird made you practice the piano? In a way, yes. In fact, it all began on a day much like today. My parents arranged for me to stay at a small house in the country while studying music at the Paris Conservatory. The spring weather was unpredictable. And on this particular day, I was caught in a storm on my way home from the nearby village. Out of my way, Rabbit! I've got to get home too, you know. Nest with a frightened baby bird. What's this? Oh, you should not be out on a day like this. You might catch your death of cold. Oh, and where's your mother? Well, no time to find her now. They say that there are fierce hawks in these woods that would like to find a helpless little bird like you. You will be safe in my pocket. You'd best come home with me. She's fine. I brought you home with me. What? Hey, down, Robespierre. Down. Go, go, go get out of the rain. Be quiet, will you? There. Yeah, that's much better. Michelle? Oh, you are wet. It's raining, Madame Putin. You did not take your umbrella. But it wasn't raining when I left. Well, get out of those wet clothes before you get cold. Oh, and you're dripping on my floor. Oh, I will have to get the mop. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I... What was that? <coughs> Oh, I meant to tell you. Honestly, I did. Oh, it is a bird. A filthy bird. It's only a baby, Madame Footy. And it is cold and sick. And a bird. It does not belong in the house. Put it out. Put it out? 
Jacques, Claude, do not get near it. It is filthy. No, I am going to nurse him back to health. This is a home, not an animal shelter. And it will take time away from your music studies. Oh, oh I am sorry, oh, precious. Need oh, mama hurt, little Jacques. Oh, I'm just going to get them up, and then I will get my little darling kitty a saucer of cream. Would you like that? <laughs> A bird. Oh, don't squirm so much. You got very wet out there, you know. And you don't look well at all. I wonder what did happen to your mother. Well, it looks like you are all alone in the world now. Jacques! Claude! What are you doing here? Stay away, you hear? Stay away. Come to think of it, you are not alone after all. You've got me. So did you keep him, Papa? Well, I couldn't let him go as helpless as he was. But weren't you afraid the cats might get him? Of course. Of course I was afraid. So you know what I've done? This. No, 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 no. How does it sound like? It sounds like... like you're building something. Something for the bird. A birdhouse. You built a birdhouse to keep him safe. Right, Eugenie, that's right. And you can build music exactly the same way. Scales. Chords. And songs. House for a bird is very much like building a song. In a good cage or a page of music, each bar's got to be strong. Over a basement of bass notes, you have whole notes and grace notes. In the places you place notes, from the floor to ceiling, rest on the feeling of home. For the little fellow with melodious sound, where he can sing without croaking, when those cats come poking around, build him a house that's a melody where harmony can be found. Whether you ride a cadenza or build a credenza, each and tells more than notes or nails. You must have a theme, then improvise on that, sharpen the bat flat, he will hatch, very touch. Paper rip, painted and painted a grand composition for my fine and feathery friend. Furnished in all kinds of instruments to lend a musical blend. Safe in his love, he'll relax well in a soft, muted sax bell. If a fat cat attacks well, that old bird cat robber him, stop a clobber he long will remember, and he won't come calling again. Yes, a bird's best life insurance is a semi-45 pen. If in your work there's a measure of love and of pleasure, building a bird house is like building a beautiful song. Well, what do you think? Oh, oh, be careful now. <laughs> I told you to be careful. You will just have to learn to listen. Is that the only note you know? I think I'll call you one note. What do you think, eh? Do you like it? Oh, well, I hope that means yes. There, one note. You are dry again. Is there anything else you need? What? Food? Oh, of course. You must be starving. Now you stay right there, and I will see if I can get something from Madame Putti for you. You'll be safe here till I get back.
Cats didn't get one note, did they, Papa? Well, Jacques and Claude were clever, Eugenie. They didn't get him, did they? Let me tell you the story. The cats were creeping up. And what shall I prepare for your precious enfant? I do not cook for birds. But Madame Fouti, the bird will die if we do not feed him. Well, I did not bring the worthless creature here. And I cannot understand why you did. Mm, some, uh, some soft bread and milk. You must soak the bread and make it soft. Oh, thank you, Madame. I will tell one not it is from you. One not? Yes, it is what I call him. We are going to be very good friends. Well, do not let your very good friend keep you from your music studies. The feeling you can take care of yourself very well, one note. And now, how would you like some food, huh? Well, my nose is not exactly what I had in mind, little bird. I found the only way I could get one note to eat was to wet the bread in the milk and put it deeply down inside his throat. I forgot about my studies and my practice and devoted my time to one note. And as the days passed, he grew into a beautiful black feathered. Macpie. Quiet, one note. I am trying to write my music, and you are not helping me. Go outside and play with Robespierre. You heard me. Go play. You are neglecting your studies for that foolish bird. But no but. Get back to your practicing at once. my composition for the conservatory. One note, please. It is not going well as it is, without your help. What are you doing? Oh, well, you cannot pick the notes off the paper. They're just dots of ink. But each dot here means a note here. Like in a scale. Very good. <laughs> it is lucky that that note is your note, one note. Ah, are you going to play for me? Almost. Here, try again. Now, what note comes next? Right. <laughs> you see, if you would practice a little bit every day, you'd be able to play Brahms. A piece by Chopin. Or even 
the music of Bach. <laughs> Why not? What are you doing? I soon found that one note had strong musical tastes, and the relentless rhythm of Johann Sebastian Bach were definitely not to his liking. Stop that! Why not? Well, you silly bird, why didn't you just fly? You know. Well, you flap your wings and... Ah, you don't know, do you? Like that. Ah, but you haven't had a mother to teach you. So I became his mother. And it was time for one note to learn to fly. Now, there's really nothing to it, why not? I'm sure it just takes practice. Like playing the piano. Why, I could not play the piano at all at first. But with practice, I have made it to the Paris Conservatory of Music. So give it a try. Fly! That, that's not quite it, why not? You must try it again. Uh, I do not think you have the idea yet, why not? You sit here and watch. Just watch. Now, pretend that I am a bird. Do just exactly as I am doing. Flap your wings, like this. Like this, one note. Flap, flap, flap. Watch me. Come on, flap, one note. You can do it. Flap, 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 flap. Come on, one note, try it. Flap, 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 flap. Watch me, watch me. He's boring this down to feathers. Flap, 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 flap. Keep trying, keep trying. You can do it, one note. He's flying! One knot is flying! He's flying! One knot is flying! Ah! Oh, he is at that! Michel, look up at me! I'm flying! I'm so excited I have to yell. Michel, look up and see me flying. Only a moment or so ago, I was a prisoner down below, scared of my shadow, but now I know these things, these wings were meant for flying. Just like a worm in a warm cocoon becomes a butterfly when it's June. I'm free, I'm free and see I'm flying, trying my wings. The gentle hands of wind that hold me keep me from being afraid. The wind like you, my friend, won't let me down. I'm flying high above the trees and crying out at the top of my voice. The clouds, the breeze, the sky must be the home that I hungered for. My song and sung before Michelle taught my heart to sing and took my wings to take the air. I swear it's mystifying, flying. Hey, maybe I'm a bumblebee, oh boy, if I'm a bee, I'll be a buzzer and a stinger and a prior zip is in good to the end of any enemy and yet I'll bet I'm not a BG. I started life as a skinny twig, thinking I was some kind of hamster of guinea pig. Then I heard that I'm a bird, given that absurd, take my word, I'm a nigga. Look at the size of my silhouette, bigger than most of the guys you bet. Speaking of guys, maybe I'm a girl. 
Michelle, somehow you didn't tell me. Am I a turtle or turtle dove? How do I find the right one to love? Some lark, some wren, some friend, or someone to fly to and fly to. Weren't you worried, Papa, that you would fly away and not return? Yes, Eugenie, but some things are meant to be free. If he wanted to go, I could not stop him now. Why not? Why not? Come back, please come back. Oh, why not? Please come back. Come back, why not? Please come back, why not? Please. Aha! Uh -huh. A little more practice, and you will have it perfect, one note. And now your studies? I had been neglecting my lessons, my studies. And the composition I was working on for the conservatory was not good at all. But you're very good. It takes practice, Eugenie. It took me practice to compose and to play. It took one note practice to fly. And it will take me practice to play the piano. Exactly. But back then I was not prepared. And as I left the next day, I knew that I was not ready with my lessons. Ah, oh, that bird. One note would always follow me as I drove toward Paris. But he would go no further than the main road patiently waiting on a branch of the tree until I would return. I will be back after class, why not? Your assignment for tomorrow will be to study chapter 12 on counterpoint. And so, class is dismissed. Michel, I would like a word with you before you leave. Yes, Professor Latouche. Your term composition. You have not shown me anything lately. How is it coming along, Michel? Oh, my music. Oh, I have had some... Uh problems, Monsieur Latouche? Well, as long as the problem is not with the music, Michel, I am looking forward to seeing it completed. You are one of our best students. Thank you, sir. I have not spent enough time on my music, but I promise you that will all change. Tomorrow will be different. <laughs> Today, I must write my term composition. I will not play with you today. You are making it very difficult, my friend. Now you see, you have made me forget the notes. And now look what you made me do. Instead of playing my song... I have played your song, and it is fantastic. Let's see what we can do with it. Beautiful.
Paul. Thank you, thank you, Eugenie. You are, without a doubt, the best audience I've ever had. And the most beautiful, too. So, you see how one note gave me the inspiration for the composition I had to do for the conservatory? But, Papa, how could you take one note's little song and make it into such a big one? I'll show you. Let's play his song with me. Good. Very good. Very nice. Excellent. Do you know what I've done? I took those very same notes, and with them, I made many variations. Variations? Yeah, it means different. I played it many different ways. Like this. And this. And this. Is that the way all composers make music? From Bach to Beethoven to the Beatles, yeah. But you know, my little bird was not only my friend, but he had become my collaborator. I know that. A collaborator means he helped you write the song. Right. Even though we had many, many interruptions. not tease Jacques and Claude. They are only helpless cats. You must hurry, Michel, or you will be late to the conservatory. Monsieur Latouche will be surprised to see that I have finally finished my composition. Au revoir, madame. Goodbye, Jacques. Claude, au revoir. He should take one note all the way to the conservatory and leave him there. Ah, my pet? I will see you later, my friend, and I will tell you how Monsieur Latouche likes our composition. Did you hear me? Oh, my friend. What has happened to you? Where are you, my friend? <laughs> Madame Booty! Madame Booty! Michel, Madame... what is wrong? Surely, Monsieur Latouche. No, not Monsieur Latouche. It's one not. Oh, that pesky bird of yours. He was not waiting for me with the rods meet. Have you seen him? Is he here? I in the house? No, I have not seen him. I have more important things to do than to look after your bird. And what about you two? I will find him. He is all right. He must be. I was frantic. I searched everywhere. In my room. Why not? Are you hiding here? Perhaps he was in the music room. But he was not. I drove out in the countryside to our favorite places. One note! One note! One note! Oh, where are you? I checked in the village where the people were accustomed to seeing me riding with one note perched on my head. But no one had seen my little friend. I didn't know what had happened to him. But I felt I might never see him again. Oh, Papa. One 
one note. Can't you hear your song? One note. My little friend, where are you sleeping tonight? One note had been missing for two days now. One note? Are you up there? Have you come back, my friend? We all missed one note. Yes, even Jacques and Claude and Robespierre were sad. Who would have guessed that we would miss him so? It has been too many days that the bird has been gone. It is strange. We all miss him. Ah, huh, my pet. <laughs> One note will ever come back. It has been too many days, Moshu. No. I will not stop hoping. But the bird's feathers, Michel. You found... I know he is alive. Yet another day passed, and still one note had not come home. But I could not give up hoping. Perhaps it is because of you, Jacques and Claude, that one note is still alive. With you, he learned to be smart, how to protect himself. Ah, uh, poor friend. 
But now you are home. Yes, one note was home, barely alive. But the brave little bird had his whole family to nurse him back to health. You've got to believe that somebody smarter than man created a soul as part of some fantastic plan. He gave us the world and on it unfurled such fabulous things as mountains and streams where poets and kings cannot tell the dreams and wonder what forces determining what our course is what notion gave motion to oceans and weather and wind little people jibit gotta get you feeling well you can make it if you wanna little bitty buddy you can do it i can tell not a bit of doubt about it little what you call it Listen to Papa Michel. If you wanna, then you gotta. But you've got to believe some great master puppeteer's hand moves heaven and earth for reasons we half understand. It holds every string, controlling the swing of millions of stars. And aren't you amazed? Not one ever grazed. Crashed into Mars. Yes, life has a purpose. It's more than a three-ring circus. Your heart knows tomorrow is worth living for. You've got to believe. Life's a gift we receive. A marvelous prize from somebody wise. The bird. So the crisis had passed, and for the first time in many, many days, everyone could relax. I think One Note's wings have mended well. He will be his old self soon. That is his old self again. Yes, Madame Fouti, he is. And he is back where he belongs. But was this where he really belonged? The summer was over. I had completed my special studies at the conservatory, and it was time for me to go home. I knew it was also time for one note to go home, to his true home in the wilderness. Well, because you have no suitcase to pack, does not mean that you should not let me pack mine. Bill, you must fly away. And make your home in the forest. Please, one not. You must be free. Au revoir, Michel. Au revoir, Madame Fouti. Thank you for everything. You are most welcome, Michel. Robespierre, I will miss you. Jacques, Claude, <laughs> yes, I will miss you too. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, one note, this is the last time we will see each other. You must make your own life. A bird like you should be free. It is best. Ah, no. My little friend, you must go away. Stop blustering me. Go away. Go away. Please. Go away. Goodbye, one note. My friend. That was the last time I saw my little friend. It was a very sad time for me. Yes, Papa. 
But it would not be right to take one note to live in the city. Yes, Eugenie, you know. He loved the countryside. And he had to live his own life, too. That is something we must all learn. Like you have become a papa and a famous composer. <laughs> I guess so. The thing I'm sure is that my collaborator, he's still doing his music. Please, Papa, teach me to play one note song. <laughs> 